Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another video. I hope everyone is doing incredibly well. Um, I just want to see what's up with the Divine Masculines, like what they're going through right now. The energy feels romantic. Um, it feels like they're having to make decisions, very tough decisions to walk away from certain situations that they've been in and it's very expensive like i'm feeling a lot of pentacles energy like um it's very expensive to leave a situation that they're in right now but many of them they don't care because they know that once they're ready to um make money again it'll it'll come very easily so they're really focused on you divine feminine i feel like a lot of divine masculines have made a lot of sacrifices to come towards you and this is what's hidden okay so what do they want you to know that they've been going through or like what messages do they want to send and some of you might feel like yeah they've been definitely sending those messages okay so what's going on with these masculines you think you're better than me competitive energy okay so you think you're better than me like you guys might have had a lot of conflict because and you know the weird thing is divine feminine is like you're just amused because you're like wait a second like a lot of you might come from nothing right like a lot of you might have struggled you've watched your parents struggle and then all of a sudden here comes your divine masculine who's privileged as fuck but he looks at you like you think you're better than him. And it may just be the way that you carry yourself with integrity and grace and gratefulness. Many of you are just very grateful to be alive. And that's why your divine masculines think that you're better than them. Because you are a mirror. A lot of you have lit up um, their obsession with money, being ahead, um, staying trapped in karmic situations as well maybe to even provoke you divine feminine and each and every time I feel like this divine feminine was like listen you're not provoking me you're more just highlighting your obsession with material wealth in this lifetime and it's really getting you nowhere because you still desire to be with this divine feminine who finds more pleasure in everything that already exists here on earth right like nature and animals and sunsets and sunrises i mean this is why the karmic can't compete with you divine feminine the karmic the masculine will point out a sunrise or a sunset and the karmic can't be bothered by it okay and this is this is what the difference is i feel that coming up a lot <laughs> i miss you it's so intense it hurts <laughs> a lot of you might be um feeling this like you feel the energy where your divine masculine is trying to get your attention um but i feel that many divine feminines are in this position where it's like so what if they are you know like you guys are just like work for it or work it um that's just what i'm hearing what else do you does the divine masculine want you to know no amount of vacationing with this karmic will erase the divine feminine. Um, so many of them are kind of confirming and letting you know that maybe they, you, you guys have maybe stumbled upon like recent pictures of the divine masculine or like they're with their karmic partner. It may not be like vacationing, but it may appear as like, oh, we're like this happy family. <laughs> uh, your divine masculine wants you to know that like, each and every time you guys may see these photos resurface, but you might still feel uh, a huge connection to your masculine as though you feel their energy coming towards you as well. Um, they want you to know that like that's the karmic's doing. Um, they might be in a position where it's like the karmic might be triggering like financial loss, uh, limited access to children, certain things like that that keeps your masculine bounded. Um, and your masculine is sending a clear message that it's like, no matter what you see on social media or like whatever the case is, it's not enough to erase the memories that I have with you. And the reason I feel that it can't erase the memories, it's, it's like the masculine that is saying in this moment, like I'm human, <laughs> like 
if I've experienced a moment in my life where I met a person that's made me feel 100% unconditional love, that's really, really, really hard to forget. Okay? Um, I'm going to use the fairy tarot. What's your best course of action right now, Divine Masculine? With everything that you're going through and having to like maneuver through these karmic relationships... <laughs> What's your best course of action right now? What does the universe want you to know? Okay, so I have way too many cards that fell on the floor. Let me just pick them up here quickly. So I picked them up. I didn't want to flash my head in front of the camera. So I'm going to add them back to the deck. And I'm going to shuffle again. What does the universe want you to know? Divine Masculine. What is your best course of action on your journey? So we have the seven of spring or the seven of wands. Be assertive. Don't back down from what you believe. Courageously stand up for yourself. Um, I feel like the divine feminine triggers this a lot. They trigger the divine masculine to really stand up for themselves and start like doing their own thing, having faith in their own belief system. Uh, don't be afraid to trust. I feel like the Divine Feminine is sending the message to the masculines that it's like, don't be afraid to trust the universe. If you're feeling stuck in a situation, here's another card. Uh, chin up, shoulders back, and make eye contact. Yeah, if you're feeling a lot of like conflict in your situation right now, Divine Masculine, I feel like the Divine Feminine is saying that it's time for you to really stand up for yourself and mean what you say, say what you mean type of thing. Um, you can't come towards her, basically, if you're still in a karmic situation or a relationship. This Divine Feminine knows her worth, and that's why she's asking you to be assertive in your own karmic situations because she, she's too worthy to be a third party is what I'm hearing. Um, and she knows that she knows her worth is is what I get what do you want to tell this divine masculine divine feminine so we get the five of wands which is disruption and changes I feel like this is the divine feminine saying if you want this you know if you really and truly want this you know you're really gonna have to pick up your sword and cut through a lot of the illusions, cut through a lot of the things that make you feel held back for me. Because I feel like a lot of the Divine Feminines are feeling like, wait a second, like, I'm not going to sit back here like some kind of third party or some kind of mistress. Like, the energy we've exchanged, the things you've told me about your karmic partner, like, what the fuck are you really doing, bro? You know what I mean? So we know the truth as Divine Feminines, and it's like, now it's about waiting for the divine masculines to kind of hold that integrity, hold that honesty. Yeah, the hierophant. You see what I mean? Sorry, guys. So the hierophant is that divine knowledge. It's the word twin flame. When I see the hierophant, to me, I'm like the word twin flame. Many of you stepped on this journey because you Googled what are twin flames or what's the meaning of twin flames versus soulmates or why do i keep thinking about this person or why am i dreaming about this person why do i consistently think about someone at work you know i just met someone at work why do i feel so drawn to them like a lot of you out there are seeking divine understanding divine knowledge about what it is that's happened to you emotionally on this journey and it's a, a a great thing to pay attention to the synchronicities like when you guys see strange animals just appearing out of nowhere it's it, it won't take anything out of your day to google what does the cat totem mean what does the dog totem mean what does the owl totem mean what does the hawk totem mean what does the eagle totem mean hell what does the rat or mouse totem mean okay the the messages are there for you but you need to dive deeper into the occult you're already diving into the occult with tarot in terms of reading the energy but dive deeper like if you see a mouse run across your garbage cans or whatever go and look out a rat totem like animals are here as messengers 
trust me guys i i'm it sounds crazy but they really and truly are okay the hierophant sends a strong message right now for those of you to like journal i have my intuition journal link in my description box if you guys would love to support the channel i would really appreciate it click on the intuition journal get one ordered to you and start writing down the synchronicities that happen on your journey because the hierophant brings a strong message where it's like there's no amount of readings that you can get on youtube about your twin flame the only thing that's really going to help you is paying attention to the synchronicities that you're receiving in your own life recording your dreams recording those triple numbers that you keep seeing um recording the animal synchronicities recording the weird you know signs that you see uh, every single day it's going to help you realize like when you're going to get communication from your twin flame when you should hold back when you should just do your own thing and and let them do their own thing right um what does the divine masculine want you to know at this time divine feminine about how they romantically feel about you let's talk to the deck a little bit how does the divine masculine romantically feel about the divine feminine Okay, so we get the lover's card. So I think that they feel... They feel attracted to you. They feel like you're... You're a pain in the ass, Divine Feminine, to be honest. That's what I feel like your Divine Masculine saying. You know, you really get them to work for it. And the thing that's the pain in the ass is that they want to work for it. And sometimes a lot of them might feel like they work so hard for it and you still won't budge and many of them at this time are starting to realize you know where they need to take on this hierophant energy and just take time out to really like deal with their own karmic situations before coming towards you first that's why there's two feminines on this card like the divine feminine you know she puts the masculine in a position where she lets him know that she won't accept anybody else. Like, this is a divine feminine that wants to be number one. Like, she wants to be the only one. Um, and maybe there might be a, significance, a significant purpose in her wanting to be the only one. This might have a lot to do with children as well, is what I'm hearing. Um, for many of you who feel that energy with your masculine. Um, but he's reciprocating it because, you know, at this time... He, he's missing you. He's longing for you. You've awakened him in terms of this competitive energy. Like, what is it about her that makes me want to fight for this? Um, it's because you two have a specific purpose in this lifetime, and it's coming together. Maybe it might have to do with creating children who will be fearless in this world um, and, and really kind of shift paradigms even more than you two are doing at this time. All right. I love you guys. Take care and I'll catch you in the next reading. Okay. Bye guys.